good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are welcome back to the channel uh so today we're making these lovely um trousers it has like plates on both sides and it has a waistband at the back and there's no zip so if you want to know how to do this keep watching i have my waist point then my waist to hip point then my waist to crouch depth and then my waist to full length so I'm going to work on this up part first. It's like four. Then I'll make a straight line. I have 9.25. 9.25. So 9.25 here. 9.25 here. 9.25 here. 9.25 here. 9.25 here. So draw a straight line. I'm going to come in by half an inch right here. Then connect it to this point. Then I'm going to get my waist measurement divided by four and place it here. And then I'll connect it to the hip point area. And then we're going to come out on the crouch area. So we are going to divide our tie, tie divided by two. Mine is 11. This is 11, but normally I come out by two inches right here. And then I connect. So because I want like a palazzo sort of feel, I'm just going to go all the way down, straight down. So what I did now, I just divided this two point by two. And then I did, uh, did a middle line, which is this one. It's not really equal at this end because if you want it to be equal at this end, you do this first before you draw this line. So when you do this, you measure what you want at the down area and then you get the same thing at the other side as well. So this is what I have for now. So I'm going to draw this line all the way to this point. I'm going to take this measurement right here. Five so if I can put it up here. Five points. So I have a straight line. So this is what I have right now. So I'm going to use still use this one to cut the back as well. So for the back, we're going to come out from here by two inches. And here we'll come out by one, one and a half, one and a half, all the way, all the way down. So we're going to connect that. So I have this. For the waist, I'm going to start from this point here. So this is the front. So I'm going to start from this point at the back. I really do not need any zipper at the waist area. I think I'll put zipper at the side, but not at the waist area, but still I'll come out by two inches from this place. But before we do that, yeah, we are going to come up by one inch. And because I'm using plastic on my waist at the back, I'm just going to draw a straight line to meet with this one. Normally, if I'm going to use, um, if I'm not using elastic, I will just get the measurements, whatever measurement I have here, I'll put it right here and then connect it. So this is what I have. I'm not even going to connect it to this point. So this is what I'll be cutting out for the back. So now I'm going to come out by So this is the back and this is the front So this is what we have right now So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out So 
if you want to get this properly just put the allowance first before you draw your line you put your allowance first that's the mistake i made put your allowance first 1.5 1.5 around there or you can use one inches one inch one inch around here and then from this point from this point you are going to take your waist measurement if you're not using elastic at the back you take the same waist measurement you took for the front take it at the back and then you mark i'm sure it should be around here and then you go ahead and mark it this way because i know i'm using elastic at the back So make sure you transfer the same line to the back. So we're going to go ahead and cut the front pattern of this. So that's all we need to cut our paper. Cutting the front pattern first. But before we do that, I'm going to take out because I want a band. I want a waistband. So, so I'm going to cut like one and a half inches out. I want two inches. So I'm going to cut one and a half inches because half inch will be for joining the waist band. Please don't forget to cut your hip line because I just did. This is the next of the fabric I used. So we're going to fold this into two. Okay, so this is what we have. Cut on my front waistband. I'm going to do the same for the back. So I'm going to cut this into two. Okay, I think I'll do three. I'll do three. So we're spreading it by three inches. Life is rolling like this. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Make sure you mark it so you do not get confused. So, this is what we are going to cut out for the front. We'll not forget to notch these areas. The same. We're going to cut this all out. So I'm just going to add like half an inch for the sewing allowances. If you haven't added your allowance added down, please do not forget to do that. So I'm going to notch this area. I'm going to get the midpoint of this one. One point two five. So I'm going to match this area as well. So to meet in this area like so, like this, and. Like this so this is what we're doing so i'll cut the back the same way i don't think i have enough fabric for pockets so i'll be adding any pockets you can go ahead and add pockets to yours if you want to okay so i'm gonna have to join the back not join but paint the back so we're going to paint the front together join this area so i'm going to join this area to this point here I'll leave this area open so let's gather you remember this point 
I have three notches. So this is where I'll be doing the gathers, like the pleats. So I'll pleat, I have one, two, three. I'll pleat the two so it can meet in the middle, like so. So this is what I have. And I'll do the same for the other side as well. So this is what we have. So this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so now we have to join our fabric. Which I'll be joining here. There's a way I join it. So I'll show you guys. And I'll stop here. Then I'll join the back. Just a technique. So we have this. We're going to attach the back. I'm going to undo this here. Okay, so this is what I have. So this is the line, yeah. I left like two, I don't think it's up to two, but like one and a half, two inches open at the down part. So this is my back. This is the back pattern. This is the wrong side. So I'm going to put the wrong side to the right side of this. So make sure the legs are facing each other. So I'm going to connect this. We are going to sew this all the way down. We'll repeat the same thing for this side as well. I will just pin it so I'll be able to sew it as well. So we're going to sew this one all the way down. This is you sewing the in same area before joining the crouch of both sides. So I'm going to do it off camera so I don't bore you guys. And I'll come back and show you what I have and then we'll show you the next step. So this is what we have. After I've joined the um, in seam, so we are going to join this together. Now this is me joining the crouch. Oopsie. <sighs> this is me joining the crouch area. If you are going to add zip to this, just make sure when you are joining this, make sure you put your zipper allowance where you want the zip to end. Uh, let's say you want the zip to end here. Yeah. You end it here, so from here to here is where you add your zip. So from here to here is where you'll be sewing. But I'm putting any zip, so I'm sewing it all the way. What we have, we have this very random thing. So this is the front. This is the back. So we're going to now bring the front. And this is the front, so we're going to do this. I'm going to sew the sides. You can do the easiest, easiest method of just joining the front crouch, joining the back crouch, and then putting it all together. But I just prefer this way. And he said that I said, uh, my auntie that sews, she says, if you don't want to try to tear, you know, when it tears, you want to do this. So that is what I am doing. So I'm going to sew on the sides, but before I sew the sides, I'm going to leave like one inch because I want to join the front band and the back band before I go ahead and stitch it on the side. But for now, we're going to leave two inch 
from the top and then stitch it all the way to the down so I'll stitch this so you do the same thing on both sides and then I'll do the same thing on both sides and then I'll come back and show you what I have here so this is our waistband this is for the front this is way longer so I'll definitely cut it and this is for the back so this is two and a half inches so I'm going to take half inch to join it to the waist to our trouser I'm going to pin our waistband for the front So this is our front waistband so I'm going to attach the back waistband as well and then I'll show you then I'll go ahead and sew it and then I'll come back and show you what to do next because the next thing we'll be doing is to put um, elastic band for the back of our, of our trouser before we go ahead and join it on the side and then finish the hem and then we are done this is my elastic for my back. I'll make sure it stretches enough to pass your hip and it's not going to waste. So I'm going to pass my elastic right here. This is what you should have. It stretches like so. And you're going to join your sides both sides so after that you go ahead and hem the down of your trouser and you make sure it is equal if it is not you trim it a little bit and then you're done okay so for the finishing touch i just folded this and i'm going to use my um hemming gum for this i won't be sewing it i'll just use my hemming gum and that's that's, that's all if you have if you do not have hemming gum just go ahead and sew it and you are done you are done with your trouser make sure you iron everything properly and iron as you go it helps a lot i was just too lazy so yeah